Hi everybody, Andy at Westport Machine Works. In this video, I want to go over the center bearing support and uh, the functions of it and what it's for. So it's for doing uh, balancing a two-piece shaft or a three-piece shaft. If you had a three-piece shaft, you would need two center bearing supports. And uh, basically this shaft here, it's a two-piece shaft, three-inch tubing. So I'm using the three-inch spacers on the uh, tube stands and how this works is you position it over the center bearing here or under the center bearing and uh, it's adjustable so you just pull it up just uh, close to the center bearing but but not against it and uh, once you're close there we'll just make sure it's lined up over the holes Tighten the base down. And then we'll reposition the dial indicator. It's, it's also adjustable. Just find the correct hole there. It just has to make contact to this swinging base. And uh, we have a thumb screw with the nylon tip on it to protect the dial indicator. So that goes in and just snug, just to hold it in place. And uh, we'll take the spacers out. And that'll drop the shaft onto the base. And at that point, you can just make sure it's centered up nice. And we'll bolt that down. And this will give us a, a balance point here using the strobe. We'll be able to uh, find out where to place the weights for the center of the drive shaft. So once that's nice and tight, um, you can see it's very sensitive here. It moves back and forth. And uh, we also have a locking tab, and that tab can be bolted in place right here for uh, if you're going to check the drive line for straight uh, or do any kind of heat straightening, that kind of thing, you'll want this uh, locked up in a rigid type position. And once that's locked up, then you have it nice and rigid where it can't move, and you can rotate the shaft for uh, checking for straight. So let's run it up. So here's the shaft uh, spinning at 1500 RPM. It's roughly 10 thousandths out of balance. You can tell here how sensitive this center bearing support is. And by using the strobe and finding your high spot on the needle there, you can easily determine where to place your weights on the tubing for balancing.